Sup guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the Spies Disguise Kit from Team Fortress 2. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to need to do this build. In case of pastels, I got these at an art store. Foam board, see-through plastic, it's used to package toys and action figures, so it's easy to find. Square Lego tiles, if you have a lot of Legos, these will be easy to find. Tape, lots and lots of tape. A hot glue gun, I already have this, you should have one. Paint, thick paper, and printer paper. The first thing I did was trace out how much room I was going to need for the space inside of the cigarette case. So I drew it out with the tracing paper and cut it. Now the first time I did it, it was too small, so I took that trace that I made and made a bigger one. I put it in. So the second time I did it, it was good. Then I hot glued it in. After that, I painted it black completely. After that, I traced it with the see-through plastic and cut that out. This was to make the television screen, as you may call it. Then I mix brown and black paint to make a sort of wood, dark wood color. This would serve as kind of this base for the cigarette case. After that I traced a spot where I would put the hole for the screen. Then I hot glued the outer layer to the screen. I then cut out and painted a small strip of paper that would serve as the place where I would put the logo for the spy's disguise kit. I would put it right on top of the screen where it belongs. You can look at any template for this uh, model and you'll see it right there. Then because I didn't have any le yellow Lego pieces, I put some electric tape on top of one. I know it's cheap, but that's what I had to do. Then I hot glued these to the bottom of the case. Then I applied tape to the side. This would be used because the silver sharpie would not work on the metal, so I had to use this. Also, I didn't want to paint it, which I did for the outside layer. I added tape to the outside of the case just to give it a more military and professional style look. Then I painted it all gray. After that, I worked on the cigarettes by taking pieces of paper and drawing the bottoms all orange. Then I wrapped them up and covered them with tape. After which, I hot glued them to the inside because I didn't want to worry about them falling out all the time. I I would recommend making only six, since that's what's going to fit. Then I took another strip of paper and colored it silver. Then I hot glued that in and made it as the holder for the cigarettes. After that, you're done. Now you know how to make the Spies Disguise Kit. 